And just like that, out of absolutely nowhere, another massive surprise update from Tesla with their humanoid robot Optimus going for a walk outside. No leash. And guess what? No vision. Musk confirming that the humanoid robot you're seeing on screen now, not being teleoperated, by the way, walking up and down hills on unstable ground, practicing kind of looks like a three or four year old figuring it out. Not too bad. Pretty stable on its feet. Is not looking. Watch this, by the way. Check out the slip and the rig. Oh, amazing stuff. We'll rewind that. This is absolutely epic. Now, the point I was trying to make before I interrupted myself, this thing is not using vision. I'm going to say that one more time. It's blind at the moment. Now, this isn't because it needs to be or it can't see. Tesla's trying to learn what can they do. So think about that for a moment. Walking outdoors, orienting itself, not falling over, slipping but not falling over uphill downhill unstable ground at a fairly decent pace as well why this is how you teach a humanoid robot to interact in the real world things that matter are the brain and vision but also your ability to manipulate objects with your hands and importantly to actually move throughout the real world this is absolutely stunning stuff now so more context but first we got to watch that slip again check it out Foot hits the ground, slides, slips backwards, hands flailing around like a person would do, saves itself. I, I mean, this is just absolutely unreal. It looks so human-like. Is it just me or does this look human-like? Truth be told, I think most people would have fallen over, but this is incredible. I mean, it's just, is this real life? By the way, don't tell this to the people that think Tesla's just a car company, but this is absolutely fucking insane. The rate of progress, just a few years ago, Optimus didn't exist. Dude, I could watch this all day. I mean, seriously, I could watch this all day. Look at that. It, 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 dude, I swear, more human than human. That's fucking wild. <laughs> I suppose if Optimus was really human, like you'd be looking around to see if anyone saw it and then just pretending like everything was fine. So more context. But by the way, holy fuck. This was posted by the official Tesla Optimus account on X, which you should all be following unless you want to miss mind blowing updates like this. Daily walks help clear your mind. And Milan Kovac working on the Optimus project per X, Optimus Engineering and AI at Tesla, had this to say following the video. Tesla is where real world AI is happening and it's hard to argue with that. I mean, OpenAI might have a cool LLM inside a computer, but have they got a real world AI, an actual robot walking in the real world and saving itself from a slip? So check this out. These runs are on mulched ground where I've myself slipped before. What's really crazy here, are you listening? Is that for these, Optimus is actually blind keeping its balance without video yet. Only other onboard sensors consumed by a neural net running around two to three milliseconds on its embedded computer. So just picture this, no pun intended. Imagine that you're walking on sloped, uneven, mulched ground with your eyes closed and you slip. Are you gonna land on your ass? In fact, are you gonna trip constantly? The answer is probably, depending on your reaction times. So what Optimus is being trained to do here is extremely important for nailing its ability to move throughout the real world and to react and adjust. I still can't believe, we're gonna watch that again, bro. I'm not gonna tire of it again. Blindfolded, okay? The only information here from Optimus, no vision, it's, I have to say it, it's gonna sound very human, like it's sense of proprioception, balance, orientation, right? This is just, bro, I can't even begin to describe how fucking blown my mind is. More exciting work happening on adding vision, so it can better plan ahead. Making the gate look more natural on such rough terrain. Yeah, let's be honest here. I mean, it's far exceeded Joe Biden, but looks a little bit, let's say, odd. And I mean, here in particular, kind of looks like it shut itself, right? Making it more responsive to velocity and direction commands and learning how to fall to minimize damage when unavoidable and stand back up. By the way, just a quick side note, shout out to my old man who recently fell and snapped his wrist in half. Hopefully Optimus can learn how to not do that. Wishing you a speedy recovery, Dad. Now, this is, of course, a semi-recruiting post. Join us to work on fascinating reinforcement learning, imitation learning, foundation nets for robotics, and more to bring Optimus to everyone fast. We're doing it. Musk reposting this. He'd obviously shared this previously, and he wrote, I forgot to mention that Optimus was doing this while, quote, blindfolded. We haven't yet made vision part of the control loop for uneven terrain. Optimus robots are regularly cruising around our workplace in Palo Alto, where vision is used for static and dynamic object avoidance. But of course, it's going to be centuries before Tesla Optimus humanoid robots are cruising around any other workplaces as products that customers have purchased to provide useful labor. Right? 
Another of the folks working on Optimus over at Tesla wrote this, we are making the Tesla Optimus walk increasingly more robust and ready for all terrains. And this was achieved by replacing a chunk of C++ code with nets as in neural nets as in same shit we saw with Tesla do with FSD, right? Vision only, right? Same shit, deleting a fuck ton of code. This is progress. And then I saw Matt Smith post this. Actually, I saw the reply to it, but hey, whatever. Ascribing a 25% probability of Tesla leading in the economically useful bot market would probably be a bigger stock price mover than Tesla actually operating a scaled robotaxi network. By the way, some context, ARK Invest, five years, Tesla fair valuation, $2,600 per share, pretty much entirely on a robotaxi network. And Matt here is suggesting that signing just a one in four chance of Tesla having some success with humanoid robots would be more meaningful than the early stages of success in the robotaxi business. By the way, he's right. Now, check out the reply from the one and only James Daumer. Robotaxi is 10 times that of selling cars. In other words, the opportunity, right? Revenue, profits, right? Robotaxi, 10 times selling cars, but 10% of Optimus. In other words, Robotaxi, an order of magnitude, greater opportunity than the vehicle business, I agree. And Optimus, an additional order of magnitude. In other words, Optimus, roughly 100 times the opportunity of Tesla's vehicle business. And funnily enough, I agree. In fact, you may have heard me say that Optimus will, at scale, make Tesla's entire existing business look like a rounding error. I mean this, right? We're talking orders of magnitude, 100x. People wonder, is the decimal place, is that the wrong, uh huh? Now, you don't need to be a, a math genius to do some things here. Tesla's roughly a trillion dollars today, factoring in maybe some of that robotaxi opportunity, but certainly not all of it, and factoring in probably zero of the Optimus opportunity. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. In fact, while we're at it, in case you guys haven't seen it, recently spoke the folks at Tesla owners Silicon Valley about Tesla, Musk, and a bunch of other stuff. Specifically, just wanted to share, by the way, there's a link in the description to the full video where you can find it. It's not hard. Just wanted to share a little bit of what I had to say specifically about Tesla's humanoid robot prior to this incredible video. I think that that, that project is going to come through fruition sooner than most people expect. We've already seen recent videos with Optimus clearly being teleoperated, catching a ball. And the purpose for this is to train in terms of dexterity. And this is how, it's just much like the vehicles on roads learning by doing with a human driver in, in sort of operating in shadow mode. This is the same kind of thing. We're already seeing the capability and the dexterity, right? The main problem, I don't think over the long term is going to be Optimus's hands. They'll solve that problem. It's hard, but the biggest problem is the brain. And they've already built the majority of that with FSD, with their vision only system. And so I think that most likely within the next couple of years, Tesla will be selling Optimus humanoid robots or at least have like PepsiCo with the Tesla Semi. They'll have customers using these outside of the Tesla facilities. 10 years from now, I think that they'll be scaling to massive production if they haven't already. And this is going to be a huge disruption. I think a lot of people think, oh, that's so far away. So and Optimus, as I've said in the past, the profits, the revenue from that will make Tesla's entire existing business look like a rounding error. And I really genuinely mean that. All you've got to think about is how many humanoid robots will Tesla build ultimately? And what are they paying per month for software to operate? Because the software is going to keep becoming increasingly more capable. And if you've got a robot that can do the job of somebody that you have to pay $100,000 a year in a factory, how much are you willing to pay per month for the software or per year? If it's $10,000 a year for the software to replace somebody that's $100,000 a year in compensation, you're getting a 10 times return on your investment. And if you're doing that, if Tesla has a $10,000 software profit per robot, how many robots are operating? It's going to get absolutely batshit insane. Just, you can't even imagine. The numbers are just so absurd. Now, I know this may come as a gigantic shock to everyone who just saw that clip, but I completely agree with that guy. Like, totally. In fact, couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> oh, wait, that was me. Just watch, guys. Being able to move throughout the world matters. Obviously, it's important. Having useful hands matters. And we've just seen teleoperation, catching a ball. Clearly, the actuators, the actual hardware is capable of doing what it needs to do. Can you move through the real world? Can you manipulate objects with your hands? Yes, as I said in that clip. The thing that really matters is the brain. And Tesla solved most of that problem already with their vehicles. And the brain isn't just vision, but it's a huge part. Now, what really matters here in terms of Tesla reaching scale with the Optimus Humanoid Robot and taking a massive share of the market, what other company has the critically important pieces of the puzzle? Which are, one, the hardware. There's a few companies out there making decent hardware for robots. They can do some cool tricks, but that's not the only piece of the puzzle. What about companies with experience, mass manufacturing complicated products that just so happen to include batteries, electric motors, and an FSD computer? Oh, that would only be Tesla, right? Okay, so we're already, there's just Tesla. And now, the next thing, what other companies out there have almost sold vision? Oh, wait, that'd also only be Tesla. 
meaning Tesla was able to essentially transplant the brain of the vehicle into the robot and give him a huge head start. Okay, so hang on, let's just recap here. No one has the brain. No one has vision. No one has experienced mass manufacturing products at scale other than Tesla. And importantly, we are seeing evidence of what Optimus is already capable of doing. This is no longer just hypothetical, although at the time when they unveiled their plans for a humanoid robot, I called all this shit from a mile away. I'm like, this is what's going to happen. Here's what blah, blah, blah. I called it. But it was hypothetical. Now we're seeing this shit in the real world. Surely Optimus can't be far away from providing useful labor, simple stuff, boring, repetitive tasks, at least initially. And it's important to understand if a full-time employee costs you as a company, let's just say nice round number, $100,000 all in. And that's not just a salary, but it's all the other bullshit that goes along with it. Any business owners out there will understand, right? For those of you who aren't, it's important to understand the salary you get paid is not what it costs a business to employ you. There's a bunch of other costs on top of that. Usually you can probably add about 30 or so percent. So if a company spends $100,000 per year on an employee and said employee can only work 40 hours a week, by the way, there are 168 hours in a week. So just hypothetically, imagine you didn't need to spend time charging a humanoid robot that can work essentially 24 hours a day, seven days a week, can put in about four times as many hours per week as you. But let's be conservative and say it needs time to charge. So let's just say three times. So if it's three times slower and less efficient than you at doing your job, even if it's three times slower than you, it's already on par in terms of how much useful labor it can do per week. This is important to understand. The bars are really low because of the extra ability to work additional hours. What's even crazier, however, it's not just the total productivity per hour or per week, though that matters. It's cost. Let's just say that Tesla sells this thing. We're going to use an extreme example for $100,000. It's going to be way less than that, especially at volume. But let's just say initial Optimus human on robots cost hundred grand, but in year one, it has replaced the labor of somebody who costs hundred grand. you have broken even after year one. But then what about year two? You don't have to buy the thing again. So you're getting 100% ROI on your investment every year indefinitely. The caveat, of course, is it's not going to be that simple. There will be a software subscription as well per month. But I've just pointed out how quickly you could recoup the hardware cost. If this thing costs $100,000, and again, it's going to be much more affordable than that, especially at scale. So then the question becomes, from a business's point of view, how much per month would they be willing to pay for software for a humanoid robot amortized over like a 10 year period or however long you want to, for it to replace the labor of somebody that's costing them like a hundred grand a year. Okay, frame this differently. That employee over a decade cost the company $1 million. If I came to you as a business and I was Tesla and I said, hey, I've got a value proposition for you. I can replace a million dollars of cost every decade for you times however many employees we can replace with a robot. By selling you a product that upfront costs a hundred grand, and again, it's going to be a lot less than that at scale, but let's just be really conservative, hundred grand. So you're still up $900,000 over that decade, but we're also going to charge you $1,000 per month for the software, $12,000 a year. Over that entire decade, the 12 grand a year, every year on the software, plus a hundred thousand upfront, you're only at $220,000, meaning you've got a saving of $780,000. And then that's not including the fact that in the next decade, you're going to save another million. You understand, right? The point I'm getting at here, Optimus humanoid robots will very quickly become an absolute no-brainer for many businesses starting in factories and warehouses, but continuing to expand in terms of scope and capabilities, what it can offer, it's going to become increasingly more capable and intelligent over time. Any business with any sense whatsoever, when the numbers are there, will immediately begin buying Optimus humanoid robots or leasing them, however it works, hand over fist, and Tesla will have essentially a near infinite sized marketplace. That's not even to begin discussing the use cases in people's homes. A housekeeper, cleaner, cook, gardener, landscaper, nanny, babysitter. Bro, I would literally get an Optimus humanoid robot just to farm resources in some video games. By the way, I'm not kidding. Not a very good use of the labor, but hey, whatever. Yet despite what we see today, the doubters doubt, the haters hate, the skeptics remain skeptical, the cynics remain cynical, and they're going to clearly miss out on, I mean, I'm going to say it, the single greatest opportunity that has ever arisen in the investment world. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. And you shouldn't just take what I say as gospel. You should do the thinking and do the numbers yourself. How many of these robots could Tesla sell? And what will they be charging per month for the software? I really just don't think people are understanding this. I mean, I can tell you definitely for a fact that there's certain people who don't understand the opportunity that Optimus presents. That would be everyone who sold any Tesla stock ever except out of absolute desperation and necessity. Can you imagine when this thing has scaled up and the opportunity, I mean, James is absolutely on point, James, down my right. Let's just say this is a hundred times bigger than the vehicle market in terms of opportunity, right? 
Can you imagine being somebody who ever sold a single share of Tesla stock before the Optimus humanoid robot had scaled massively? We are a lot closer than people think. The stakes are a lot lower for a humanoid robot making mistakes than they are a vehicle. In other words, the risks of deploying an imperfect humanoid robot in the real world into businesses and factories and warehouses is a lot lower than having a vehicle that's driving autonomously getting involved in an accident. Tesla doesn't need to be as cautious and slow to roll out and scale Optimus humanoid robots. Because look, maybe it knocks something over. It bumps into somebody, it falls over, it breaks a few things in a factory, who cares? Nobody got injured or permanently disabled or killed. So don't use Tesla's rollout of autonomy as a guide for how quickly or slowly this product reaches useful mass market scale and begins first deliveries to customers. You have no idea how big or how soon Optimus is gonna change everything. Want more content, early access? bunch of perks click the links in the pinned comment ag1 is awesome i've been taking it daily now for more than three years it's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps it's packed full of vitamins minerals and whole food source nutrients plus has prebiotics probiotics and adaptogens to improve gut health regularity and help your body handle stress i'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best which is why i haven't missed a day of ag1 for more than three years just try it and see how you feel Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. This is what viewers of the channel had to say after trying AG1. I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started on AG1. Just got my AG1 in the mail. Legit feeling the effects after day three. Three months ago, I started AG1 and have been enjoying the evenness of alertness and energy that lasts the day. I just started the wife on it too. Are you convinced yet? I mean, hey, it's worth trying, right? Click the link in the pin comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR or I can keep going. This viewer after about a month on AG1, definitely a lack of fatigue in the afternoon. Pleasant side effect is that my coffee intake has imploded and is almost down to zero. One more? Yeah, why not? I honestly feel younger and will be continuing to use AG1. This stuff really is crazy good. I didn't think it would be, but this stuff is awesome. It really is what everyone is saying. One more? Don't mind if I do. I've just received my third month supply. I've drank it every day. I have so much energy throughout most of the day. I'm productive, started a new business, started socializing, refurbished a boat. It's no coincidence. Thank you for your persistence, your integrity, and your insights. Now look, these are not my words. These are not my testimonials. This is what you guys and girls are saying. Maybe it's 100% placebo effect, but even if that's the case, I think it's money well spent. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.